Hello there. We're going to talk about um, how fossils are dated and the fallacy of this whole system of dating the fossils. What we have here is that fossilization is extremely common. According to Michael Benton, Ph.D., vertebrate paleontologist, they cannot deny that hundreds of millions of fossils reside in display cases and drawers around the world. So that kind of blows the idea that fossilization is rare. It's actually common. So fossilization is very common. It's not something that happens rarely. And this is an excuse for why they can't find a lot of human bones on the face of the earth because they say that it's such a rare thing to have fossilization. I say, well, who told you that? <laughs> so they use this thing called radiation dating, which means that they can date, date uh, materials by the uh, amount of decay from the time that supposedly the material was created. And if you can see, you know, by this method how old this fossil is, then you can date it. And they also date it by the strata and, and stuff like that that the fossil is found in. So what happens is you get this jawbone, <coughs> like this jawbone of this um, Ardipithecus remedis, 4.4 uh, million years old, or whatever it is. And this is what they say it is, but if you look at the fossil, when you look at the bone fragments, what you can see is, is that the original bone is gone and it's been replaced by the materials around it. So when they're actually dating materials, they're actually dating the materials that replace the bone, because fossils are not bone anymore. They take on the minerals that are around it. It's actually kind of a mold or a replacement of the actual bone. So they say it's 4.4 million years old. So you could take a jawbone, drop it in the ground 3,000 years ago, that's well, 3 to 5,000 years ago, and have it being contained in a material that's 4.4 million years old and have that material take the place of the jawbone. And then when they do the radiation dating on it, they determine that it's 4.4 million years old. So what happens is, what they're doing is they're measuring the material that's around the fossil. They're measuring the material that was around the bone. They're not measuring the bone. I could take a bone and bury it in Colorado, let it sit there for 3,000 years, go to Kenya and drop a bone down there for 3,000 years, and because the material around the bone is 5.5 million years old, they're going to say that that 3,000-year-old bone, old bone it's 5.5 million years old. Same thing in Colorado. Same bone. I think it's the left femur and the right femur, and I bury them both in two places. And the 3,000 years old later, they're going to say this bone is 100,000 years old. They're going to say this one's 5.5 million years old because the material around it that replaced the bone is that old. The bone wasn't that old. So what happens is the material takes the place of the bone they use radiation dating to date the fossil, and the fossil is not even there. There's no bone there anymore. So what you're actually dating is the material around the bone. It's kind of like this. You drop the bone in a box that's six million years old. It fossilizes in 3,000 years. So they measure the, how old the box is. They don't measure how old the bone is because the bone is no longer there. So that kind of destroys the whole thing of how they date fossils because the material around the fossil takes the place of the fossil. You're not actually measuring the bone that was there. The carbon's all gone. It's gone. It's vanished. It's been replaced. If you look at the photographs of these things, you'll see all the molars are actually now look like pieces of rock. They're no longer actually the actual bone anymore. It's like a mold 
that's left behind because the actual material that was there is completely gone. And the only thing that's left is the material around it that took the place of it. So it could be three to 5,000 years old, and the material around it is 4.4 million years old. And so the paleontologist is going to say that this fossil is 4.4 million years old, which is completely false.